FAQ number four. Is the King James Bible superior to the original autographs? Well, um, before I answer that, I'm going to find, here's my King James Bible, okay, my good old Cambridge uh, wide margin edition King James Bible I've used for many, many years. There's my King James Bible. Now, I have the original autographs here. Just let me, let me, uh, let me see if, um, uh, oh boy, where did I put the original autographs at? Oh, New American, no, that's not, that's not the original autographs. The Book of Enoch, uh, no, no. Uh, Catechism, no, that's not the original autographs. Uh, oh, the Texas Receptus. No, those aren't the original autographs. Uh, oh, Nestle's text. Uh, no, those certainly aren't the original autographs. Um, you see, what, what point are you trying to make there, Brian? Uh, there aren't any original autographs. They're gone. So um, I would say that the King James Bible is superior to something that does not exist. You know why? Because I can hold it in my hands. I can open it up. And I can read what the Lord has for me. I can tell lost sinners what the Lord has for them. I have a standard by which I can judge things in my King James Bible. And you say, but yes, okay, I understand that. But the fact is that God spoke and, and did the original autographs and everything else there. And we should respect and we should revere. You know, we should, I mean, this would be the closest, you know, the, the Hebrew and the Greek behind the King James. You know, so this would be like the original autographs. Uh, well, there's another problem there. You see, the original autographs, the actual things that God originally penned, uh, they never existed in a book form or in a scroll form or anything else as one volume. Did you know that the original autographs never were a Bible? They were never available as a whole complete set? And you get a bunch of dumb bunnies and they come out and they say, yes, but the Bible says that thy word is settled in heaven. You know, so... Apparently, to some professing believers, they say that uh, after the original autographs were written and a copy or two was made, that God raptured the original autographs up to heaven. And God's got this, you know, I'm sure it's a glass case, like a museum or something, where all of the original autographs are housed. And we're going to get up there and we're going to go on a, on a bus tour to the museum where God has the original autographs housed. Like God's just some kind of a, a, a whimpering idiot up there that's just like, oh man, I had to get the original autographs off the earth because I don't remember what I, I wrote in them, you know, and inspired in them. <laughs> See, this warped philosophy of these new version cultists, and it's ironic because it's almost like a Catholic type of a philosophy. I mean, if the original autographs did exist, you know where they would be? They'd be in the Vatican someplace. People walk crawling on their knees up to pray to them or something like this. See, they're idolaters. God doesn't care about the original autographs. Okay? Say, so how do you know that? What did Moses do with the original autographs of the Ten Commandments? Threw them down. Like that. Smashed them. And they were written by God. They weren't even just inspired, you know. I mean, Paul, and he's like, you know, he's writing and he's like, you know, I forget the... Verse now, but he says about, you know, about he's written, you know, he talks and he says about, I've written this one with my own hand, you know, and stuff. I mean, a lot of Paul's, some of Paul's writers, like writings, I should say, not a lot, but some of them, somebody else was writing. Paul was speaking. Holy men of God spake as they were moved by the Holy Ghost. But the Ten Commandments, the first time around there, that was God that wrote. He reached down with his finger and he's writing the Ten Commandments. And Moses takes these stone tablets down with the Ten Commandments on them and he takes them and smashes them. You talk about desecrating the holy original autographs. What did God do? Oh, here, you know, there's another set. No big deal. See, this whole original autographs thing is idolatry. It is Roman Catholic idolatry. And people have this funny notion that, you know, you dare speak against the original autographs. It's like, oh, oh you know, blasphemy. You can't dare say I'm a Bible believer and I don't care about the original autographs. You know, and that this is actually superior to the original autographs. That's blasphemous. Oh, you know, no, it isn't. No, it isn't. Let me give you a couple other little pointers on this whole thing. The original autographs, I mean, you take like, I think they, I saw like a thing of one time about an Isaiah scroll, and you roll the whole thing out, it's like 
I forget how long the thing is. It's crazy how long the thing is. But yet I can take my King James Bible here and the uh, 66 books, or 66 chapters rather, you know, of the book of Isaiah. Isaiah is a, it's kind of like a little Bible within the Bible. I have a friend, uh, Brother Micah Colston, wrote a good book about that. Right there is the book of Isaiah. Don't you know that's a whole lot easier to carry around than a, than a scroll that's, I forget how long the thing was. Of course it is. Now, is that inferior or superior to original autographs? I mean, they're carrying around these big old scrolls that are written on sheepskin and whatever else and, and you know, handwritten out and stuff. Man, I got so many of these King James Bibles, they're just like piles of them around the ministry headquarters here. You know, I can give them out to people. I got, you know, King James Bibles in my vehicle and, and, and I got King James Bible I'll carry around in my pocket and I got a King James Bible here. And King, you know, I send them to people all over the world. Is this superior to a bunch of scrolls? Oh, absolutely. Something else, the original autographs were told the way that things were originally written. Uh, there was no spaces between the words. How about that? You know, I mean, you could, you know, I saw the one time somebody wrote about this. They said, you know, you take the word God is now here and you combine it all together. Well, it could be God, God is now here or God is nowhere. You know, where do you put the space at in there? You know, something else. What's your favorite memory verse? You say, well, John 3, 16. Oh, wait a second. That's not in the original autographs. Chapter and verse markings weren't there. Hmm. Now, which one's superior? You see? You see, it's all designed, this whole thing of this exaltation of original autographs, it's all goes right back to Roman Catholicism. That's what this whole thing's about. Reverence for, we have a sacred piece. It's an it's a actual piece of the cross that Jesus died on. Oh, you know, and you... you pray to it and, it and it gives you an indulgence of so many years out of purgatory. That's what this whole thing is. It's idolatry. They want you to idolize something that doesn't even exist and never did exist in a single volume. Yes, there were original autographs that God inspired men to write. Yes, that's true. But they never existed as one volume. And let me show you another verse of scripture here real quickly. Just to kind of further illustrate this point, you say, but but I believe that we should have reverence for the original autographs, Brian. And I don't think that you can call uh, I don't think that you can call things like um, you know, copies of copies of copies. I don't think that you can call that scripture. First Timothy, or excuse me, Second Timothy chapter three, verse fifteen. Paul writing to Timothy here, and he says, And that from a child thou hast known the holy scriptures, which are able to make thee wise unto salvation through faith which is in Christ Jesus. All scripture is given by inspiration of God, and is profitable for doctrine, for reproof, for correction, for instruction in righteousness, that the man of God may be perfect, throughly furnished unto all good works. Paul just said that scripture, the inspired scriptures, are what Timothy had access to as a boy. Do you think Timothy had all the original autographs? No. And you know what, Christian? You have holy scriptures in your hands if you have a King James Bible or whatever the equivalent of the King James Bible is in your language. You can hold the holy scriptures in your hands. This is a great gift of God. Not a bunch of unknown lost original autographs that don't exist. Don't be fooled into the Roman Catholic idolatry of worshiping original autographs. The King James Bible is superior to the originals.